Stop hitting me with your tail, man. <laughs> We're gonna make like a docu series on the whole weekend cup. Maybe like a like maybe something about like just my story. We got the cup tomorrow. It's a big one. I know. I know. That's crazy. Getting to watch you play was just so cool. Go kill it tomorrow. Keep right. it simple. Embrace your moments. Do you? Got it. I got it. I got it. All right, mom. Love you. Okay, love you too, Trey. Bye. Yeah. 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 for sure overthink them like during the anticipation for it so I feel like this helps me a lot like to simplify everything just write it out and it definitely like cool some like that anxiety before the game put simple like controllable things stuff I can completely control whether I play good or bad I can do this every time you know Simple offensive stuff, this is super controllable. Defense controllable as well, like. I used to make it really like complicated where I'd like put stat goals and stuff, but I felt myself like over focusing on things that don't matter as much as like these things I can do every single time. And writing this down makes the game seem not as big of a deal, you know? Like it's just like, Go into the game, do these th three things, boom, boom. Helps me just smile more, bro. Like, not take it so serious. So, yeah. I think I'm one of those guys that I worked like this was always my dream. And I've had this dream to be a pro professional basketball player, but there's no one in my life that could serve as an example. Um, no one in my family has played professional sports. No one really in the town that I'm from played professional sports. So it was a dream, but it was kind of like a far off dream. It was like, almost felt like unattainable, but it kind of kind of manufactured itself through just doing the work every single day. And now that I'm here, you know, you would think you have that moment like, oh, I accomplished my dream or this, that, other. And I don't have that at all, actually. And I think that's actually a bad thing because it's good to take time and acknowledge your growth and how far you've come. When you're really focused on the process, you always are striving for more. And you know, now that I'm a pro, pro basketball player, I want more, like how far can I take this thing? How much can I impact the next person that wants to be a pro basketball player? How, how much can I impact this, the kid like myself? that didn't have anyone to look up to, didn't have anyone telling them they could become a professional basketball player. And I don't know, I feel like I'm living my dream, but it doesn't always feel like a dream because it can, it can get mundane, it can get repetitive, but when I take a step back, you know, I am very grateful for how far I've come and I can be very proud of the growth and the steps I've made and man, it's a game. Basketball's a game and it's how I provide for myself, for my family. It's just a wild experience. It's a wild experience that now a game is my job. How many people do you think will be at the game? Like 7,000? Yeah. But all's good, whether I kill or not, I'm coming home to this little goober. <laughs> He's still gonna need dinner either way. <laughs> He's still gonna need dinner whether I score 30 and we win, or I score zero, and we lose. What's it like having him around and like coming home from road trips and even home games and just seeing him? Uh, bro, like if he's not here, I mean, especially with my fiance gone, coming home to like an empty apartment, it's like, 
kind of get this feeling like you were on an emotional high and then it's like for nothing. You know, like you got no one relying on you. You got no one, like, like why do you do it? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hit him around, this is like, my, this is my best friend right here. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Bro, you're so long, what the? <laughs> Look at his legs. <laughs> you can't be doing all that, man. You can't be doing all that, man. <laughs> Bro, when I, when I was in Poland, bro, they used to always make fun of me for having a wiener dog. Like, you got that damn hot dog running around all day. <laughs> and like, bro, he's like a kid. It's like a kid, you know, like no matter what, how you perform, he's going to love you the same. So that, that's probably the best part is he doesn't care about basketball. He just cares that I give him belly scratches. So we came into the game knowing that it was going to be a super tough challenge for us. We had the home crowd, which was super beneficial. But in all honesty, the game didn't start how we wanted to. We got down bad early. And a lot of it started with me get, picking up two early fouls within the first six minutes of the game. I had to go to the bench, and the team had to make do without me. It took a tough layup and me just letting go of all the pressure of the game and all the expectations on our team for me to finally come out and make an impact on the game.
crazy emotional comeback and the hosts were heading to the championship. potentially the worst game of my life to like, a, oh, he saved the game a little bit. And I'd go like this, and then I'd like wait to hear Drexel, and I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> You're and cool. like, and stuff would happen, and then I'd be like, bro, I can't watch. I literally, every time I watch, someone turns it over, or fouls, or something. So I just stopped watching, and uh, then I would hear your name, and I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> It was electric, baby. That was one of the craziest games I've ever played. Championship Sunday, huh? Hey, come on. Come on, man. How we doing, Ben? <laughs> Chilling. 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 games bro I'm like I'm like up to like three or four because the adrenaline if the game starts at 8 30 it's like bro there's no way mm -hmm. but I don't know I was able to chill out relax my mind there's like an energy around the town right energy around everything like if we were to go to the grocery store right now people would be like good luck tonight good luck tonight the more people count you out, the sweeter it is when you when you do what they say you can. Where I'm the shooter in the corner, I can make a read. I can either flex cut to the paint, I can come off for a handoff, or I can uh, or I can hit the back door. So with the back door all the time. <laughs> it's easy, bro. Baby girl, tell me come home. She alone in the bed. Seeing shit different these days. I was seeing it red. Always telling me to stay, but I'm going instead. Yeah, lately I only feel dread of relief The weight on my shoulders making it hard to compete Sit at the house picturing all these incredible feats Trying to retain the feeling that this shit is meant to be So even when I don't see the fruits of my labor really Or when it feel like God got me waiting and playing with me I'm still two feet in this shit so there's no way they miss me Yeah, who knows when that'll be but won't complain Cause in the meantime, these niggas is popping off at the hip like it's Call of Duty These kids losing their life like niggas in horror movies It's like every morning you wake you seeing somebody didn't Cycle is crazy, the pill popping and lean sipping How do we done it? I pray my niggas don't die from it I used to like write statistic goals in terms of like this this is my statistic goal because that means that I was doing this and now it's more so mindset 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 because a lot of times some part aspects of statistics are outside of my control so I just try and focus on you know, being present and being emotionally stable um, and playing with joy I and mean, when I do those three things and I'm a pretty, pretty tough player, so that's kind of, and I can control that. You know? So that's what I'm focusing on the championship game, but that shouldn't change anything, right? You should still have the same routine, same mindset going in. Uh, still focus on doing what I do more than anything else. Top shot to popping off at the cartridge, loaded, sparked it. I got niggas from the zoo like Jordan Clarkson. City flats to mansion apartments. We was ahead when this shit was started. And if I ever take a step back like Harden, I'm falling forward, still seeing through the darkness.
Trey Drexel, was hältst du so von ihm als Spieler? Sehr geiler Spieler, ich denke, der wirft sich immer sehr rein. Sehr intelligenter Spieler, er macht wenig Fehler, denke ich. Auch wenn er gestern kein gutes Spiel hatte, sag ich mal, oder äh, erst spät ins Spiel gekommen ist, hat man gemerkt, dass er nicht aufgibt, immer weitermacht. Und äh, wird auf jeden Fall wichtig heute, wenn wir heute den Pokal holen wollen. Was denkt ihr, was dann hier abgehen wird, wenn, wenn Oldenburg gewinnt? Ausnahmezustand. Also wir haben uns für morgen Urlaub eingetragen und wir, wir wollen natürlich feiern, ne? Gut drauf und der macht das Spiel, ne? Ja, ich denke auch. Also gerade in der Offensive, denke ich, wird er stark wieder punkten. Und ähm, ich, ich denke, er hat seinen Platz gefunden. The atmosphere around this championship game was crazy. It was electric. You could feel the whole city buzzing. You could feel everyone in Oldenburg waiting, preparing for this game, preparing to give their best effort, cheer the loudest, and root their team on to victory. It was probably the best atmosphere I've played in so far in my career. The game was back and forth, both teams offering their best punches left and right. And overall, you could just see how high level this game was. This was high, high level European overseas basketball. Some, some of the best in all of Europe. We came up short, but we were proud with how we represented ourselves, this club, and the city. I was on the road trying to make it pop. I remember when I just wanted to make a stop. Used to make a nigga sick and I make a lot. All I to to a lady. I know a lot of niggas probably say the same thing. But the niggas ain't me and that's the main thing. Cause I believe in things that I can't see Told my niggas it's the year that I'ma change things Lot of shit I gotta do before I claim things When they paint the fish Hi, hey, how are you starting? Win, lose, or draw, you still my boy Come on, man Come on, man Come on, man Oh, that's a good dog, oh, that's my boy I'm sorry, I'm sorry I couldn't bring home the cup what up, big dog? Hey, it's, Ken, it's Big Big T. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good. Guess who's Guess who's uh, Guess who's here? Memers? Oh, look who it is! Hi, Mimi. Yeah, but I mean, I scored every which way: threes, mid-range, layups, a lot of different ways.
We're yeah. so proud of you. Look at your face. <laughs> From across the world, isn't that crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're proud of you, sweetie. All right, I love you, Memers. <laughs> I love you. All right, talk soon. <laughs> okay. See you.